My name is Emily Mathiason. I am working with an organization called uh, the Housing and Land Rights Network, which is part of Habitat International Coalition. We're a global network that works um, on the rights to housing and rights to land, as well as the right to the city. Um, my work in relation to food systems is predominantly focused on how can we create food systems that benefit the rural and urban poor or the rural and urban marginalized populations. So how can we link them together better? And also I'm working a lot on creating city region food systems. I think that there is a really big problem with how we discuss urbanization. We are discussing it as if it's first of all it's inevitable and second of all like it's some scary force that we can't we must cope and feed the world and feed the cities, but that's just not the reality. The problem is not that there's not enough food, it's just that we're not really distributing it in the right way and we're not supporting the people that we should be supporting. I think that we need to really look locally. We need to make it very clear that we have all of these great international policies and human rights obligations but most of these things are only discussed at a national level or in international forums. And that's not appropriate because policy implementation happens at a local level. Civil society at a local level is very well organized and very well prepared. But if we cannot meet the policymakers in the same, in, in, at the same level, how do we expect to create policies that protect us? Not only as food producers, but as people who live in, in a city, for example. If we start first from the food production side, because I think that's the easiest side to deal with first, is that we need to support small-scale local producers using agroecological methods. And when I say agroecology, I don't mean the agroecology that international uh, mechanisms and a lot of scientific researchers have sort of co-opted. I mean the agroecology that actually is uh, based on traditional knowledge, low-impact methods, ways that work with nature, not against it, but also go beyond food production. In the end, maybe it's simple. We need to just reconfigure who we support because there's lots of money going into agriculture. It's just not being given to the right people. I guess I would say that your letter should be addressed, of course, because in the, the, the strategy it would be in the EU, but we also need to, to send it to the Committee on World Food Security but I also think that your letter should be targeting at the local government level because you have all of these different networks of cities and local governments committing to making change. I think if you address it to cities as well, you could get, on one hand, a very interesting response, but also a lot of support for what you're doing because they also want to take back some control and actually be existing in a decentralized power structure as well.